Yo, what's up everyone? First of all, Merry Early Christmas. If you see this video today, tomorrow, or the 25th, this your boy Haas bringing y'all another video which what you guys voted for in the community tab. Again, if you guys don't pay attention to my community tab, start paying attention to it. It's a video you guys voted for and a glitch me and Brandino discovered back on FIFA 20. As you guys may have seen from the thumbnail, this glitch is a hidden position in midfield, which is right attacking midfielder and right defensive midfielder. Now, you guys know I usually go for the max overall of every build. I went out my way and figured out the max overall for this video. I'm gonna, what do you want to call it, a glitch or you want to call it a build? So, I went out my way and figured out the max overall for it. So, the but there's a requirement for this video in order to hit 93 the requirements is you have to at least have played 450 matches to 500 matches whatever in between that now this glitch works for every platform uh every console you know from ps4 ps5 uh xbox one xbox series and uh pc for the people that pretty much play on these uh, on any of these platforms trust me this glitch works on everything so and the people that don't know, this glitch is a combination of a cam and a right wing. Hence the name, right attacking midfielder. Now, without further ado, I don't want to take up much of you guys' time. Let me show you guys some. Now, for the people that don't know and don't pay attention to my community tab, I already have the 94 cam and the 93 cam. The only reason that's holding me back from uploading it is because the majority of you guys voted that y'all don't have at least 850 matches played. So the requirements for these two builds, Cam 94, 93 CM, you need to have at least 850 matches. If you don't pay attention to my community tab, start paying attention to it. If you want to see this build uploaded, make sure you guys vote whenever I post anything relating to this build. Now on that note, I don't want to take up much of you guys' time. Let's get into this build. So first, you guys know the drill. For this build, in order to be um, build glitch, whatever you want to call it, for this glitch, we're gonna basically start the position from whatever position it is to right wing you switch to right wing you make sure right wing before you add the traits now you make sure it's 5 4 1 19 because we're gonna try to get the most out of it speed wise passing wise dribbling wise and all that now we're gonna add the traits but we're gonna add the traits according to a cam build I've uploaded recently but we're gonna mix it up with a little bit of a right wing so you guys pay attention and go along now for the people that don't have at least 500 matches played or 450 plus matches follow along with this video step by step it, it's possibly gonna get you to a 92 or a 91 now for the people that do have it it's gonna get you to 93 for the people that have above that I don't think it goes higher than 93 I'm not sure I haven't tested it yet but that's the max I've discovered so without further ado let's get into it first we're gonna go to trades and we're gonna go to pace now you guys see right here his pace it's 92 91 acceleration and 90 sprint speed that's really good you don't even have to add pace that's really good but for this video for the sake of this video we're gonna add the pace so once you've added these now you see you have 97 acceleration and 97 sprint speed and now we go to his shooting now we're gonna build his shooting department and his passing department and his dribbling uh, department according to a cam build i'm not gonna stress this again we're gonna build this build according to a cam build now once we have you've done the passing part the pace part you go to shooting you guys know I usually go for at least four star week, four star weak foot. For the sake of this video, we're gonna go for five star weak foot because we we need to get the most out of the overall. So once we've added the five star weak foot, now you guys see on the right wing you don't have the same finishing as you do on a cam. But after we do this glitch, you guys will see. We'll, I'll come back to this. Sorry if this video takes a lot of time, um, but I need to break down everything. So in order to get the max out of it, you have to add the traits accordingly. So once you've added these, you guys know it's 84 finishing and four star, five star weak foot. And his long shots is 81 and his volleys is 90. And his shot power is 7, 67, which will improve after you add the traits. May I might add. So once we've done the pace and uh, shooting, we go to his passing. Now for passing, you start off with uh, 86 crossing and um, 85 crossing, 80 long pass and 87 short pass so we're gonna add these right here and we're gonna add the crossing 
up until the here and we're gonna add these now why don't I add these because these have a minus the short pass so your passing wouldn't be that good if you guys get what I mean so if you if you want to add them go ahead I don't recommend because they downgrade uh, your passing and improves the curve I mean 96 curve in my opinion is still really really good for someone that takes free kicks trust me I take free kicks I know 96 curve or 95 curve is really really good so once you've added these accordingly now you go to the dribbling department so for the people that are gonna tell me I've had this discussion with someone you don't need a lot of agility because if you unlock all the agility it takes away some of your ball control and some of your dribbling as you guys see right here now you have 91 ball control 88 uh, ball control and 90 dribbling 90 agility in my opinion is still really really good and um, 82 balance or 81 balance whichever is still good so once you've added these we're gonna add we're, of course we're gonna add some of the agility I'm not I'm not gonna go without adding agility but you guys know you once you unlock these it's a downgrade the downgrades over your ball control which we don't want that so once you've added these three the first three in the left department which is agility 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 balance 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 you go to the dribbling part now on dribbling you guys know the majority of my builds at least have four star weak foot and flare I mean four star skill moves and flare now if you don't want having flare or four star skill moves it doesn't matter but if you want to listen to me Again, I stress on it a lot. Flare is the go-to this year. I've played camp, trust me. Flare passes is amazing. You need to learn how to use them. Now, for the people that don't want to use it, you don't have to. But if you're going to follow along what I said, do use it. It's very helpful. So once you've added the flare and the automatic skill move, you then go and add the rest of the stuff, which in dribbling should look something like this. Now, you guys see right here, you have 91 agility. 83 balance and 91 attack positioning about to be 92 uh, 98 ball control 97 ball control whichever and 99 dribbling and four star weak four star skill moves and flare passes straight with a uh, five star weak foot now I'm gonna show you guys what this build is gonna look like after as you guys see right here we're already 91 so we're gonna go and recheck the traits again you have to start this build on right wing Remember that right wing 54119. Now physicality should look something like this after adding the traits. Defending should look something like this. Dribbling as well should look like this. Passing should look like this. Shooting should look like this. Passing again should look like this uh, cuz you don't want to unlock these two in the, at the end cuz these are traits and this one decreases your short passes. Shooting should look like this and last but not least pace should look like this now on that note now we're gonna get to the glitch part now once you've added everything and you're 91 we're gonna go on and do the glitch now this glitch will help you get to 93 here's how once you're 5 4 119 and your players growth looks something like this we're gonna go to his athletic and once you go to his athletic info athletic you switch from body to gameplay and from gameplay to right, it's going to take you to center. Click right on the deeper. It's going to take you to center. Click again. It's going to take you to attacking. Now, once you see it on attacking, you don't click circle. You click options, which is advanced. So once you've advanced, now, as you guys see right here, give it a second. You're 93 right attacking midfielder with, as you guys see uh, right here, your pace decreased a little bit, but it's still really, really good. 96 uh, acceleration and 93 sprint speed shooting as well look at your finishing what I wanted to point out now you have 92 finishing and 90 long 92 long shots as you guys see right here 92 long shots yes 92 long shots and then you have 90, 92 volleys and 71 shot power which is in my opinion really really good uh, I know it's 71 is very low or 70, but if you know how to use your player, he can finish from anywhere. And uh, on that note, once we've added these, we go to his passing. Now you see you have 91 vision, 90 vision, 91 crossing, 92 long pass, 94 short pass, and 97 curve. Now the curve 
improved by one your short pass improved your crossing improved everything in your passing department improved dribbling your agility went down by two by one point and uh, from because if you guys remember before we switched to the right attacking mid and we did the glitch it was 90 now it's 89 or 88 and your balance is 83 or 84 attack position is 89 and as you guys see ball control and all that it's in the 100 or 99 so on that note after adding the basically switch doing the glitch part it should look something like this physicality nothing defending nothing dribbling like this we didn't change anything passing we didn't change anything shooting we didn't change anything and you have 92 finishing which is really really good pace we didn't change anything now you back out we're gonna go to the other part of this glitch uh again this second part i don't recommend it because it drops your overall like crazy like to like 76 and there's nothing i tried to figure out a way to make it at least go to a 85 i couldn't because that is like that that basically that uh position the right defensive mid is blacklisted for some reason so you go to athletic again you click right on the d-pad from body to gameplay and uh you go to attacking now instead of attacking you click right on the d-pad it takes you to defensive you click options and as you guys see right here your uh rdm with 77 overall now this is the glitch part you guys see you're not registered as an rdm you're registered as a goalkeeper as you guys see right here goalkeeper so for the sake of this video we're gonna keep it on uh, right attacking mid so we switch back to right wing this is how you redo it switch back to right wing and back you're back to 91 this is how you can switch it to get it to 93 switch back to right wing go to his athletic and uh, click right on the d-pad from body to gameplay and go to roll switch it to center once then click right on the d-pad again it takes your attacking you click option and advance and there you go now you're 93 now for everyone that find this video if you made it to this end, to the end of this video and you find this build slash glitch helpful leave a like comment subscribe and share let's try to smash the target that is 3000 subscribers before the end of this month and again i want to say merry christmas to everyone and this been your boy has peace out merry christmas and a happy new year wish everything you guys want next year to be accomplished on that note i don't want to take up you guys time i'm sorry this video was long and peace out